Uh, hello students, we're still in New Interchange intro book and we're on unit 6 and we're on page 35 and we're on grammar focus but uh, I'm doing some review before we actually get into the lesson I'm doing some review uh, about grammar alright and so in this one we want to talk about first second and third person this is important to understand first second and third person if you look at the screen First, second, and third person are ways of describing points of view. A point of view, what we see, what we're talking about. And so first person, we're talking about I or we. Second person, we're talking about you. Third person, we're talking about he, she, it, they. You see that? First person is uh, the I or we perspective. Something that, talking about I'm doing, I'm seeing, I'm feeling, or we, us together. The second person is about you. I'm talking about you. And the third person is he, she, and it. Okay, so you're going to see this. We're going to have some, uh, some examples in the next slide right now. First person point of view. When we talk about ourselves, our opinions, and the things that happen to us, we generally speak in the first person. I'm hungry, I'm tired, I'm going to school. That's first person. We're hungry, we're tired, we're going to school. The way we know that a sentence is written in the first person is the use of first person pronouns. In the first sentence in this paragraph, the pronouns appear in bold text. We, ourselves, us, we. They're all first person pronouns. Specifically, they are plural first person pronouns. Singular first-person pronouns are I, me, my, mine, myself. Okay, you got that? Are you confused yet? Okay, first person, I'm talking about me. We have singular first person and plural first person. I, me, my, mine, myself. Those are all singular talking about me. Plural, we. We, ourselves, us. Okay, it's still first person. We're talking about us right here, right around us. Talking about us together, we together, or me. That's first person. Singular, first person, plural. Look at the next slide. I think I lost my wallet. I can't find it anywhere. Oh, I could just kick myself. I, talking about himself, first person. First person singular. We could do ourselves a favor and make a res reservation for the group. Okay, we, again, first person, plural. We, us together, right here. We could make a reservation. Make a reservation means book. Maybe they're going to a movie. Maybe they're going to a concert or a dinner. But they say we could make, we could book, make a reservation for our group. We. Many stories and novels, books, stories and books, are written in the first person point of view. In this kind of narrative, you are inside the character's head, watching the story unfold through the character's eyes. So first person, if you're reading a story and you're reading it as if you were the person, as if you were inside the person and you're watching it happen. Second person point of view belongs to the person or people that you're speaking to. I'm talking to you. And so if I'm talking to myself, I'm talking to in first person. But if I'm talking to you, I'm using you. I'm talking in what's called the second. You are the second person. 
This is the you perspective. The easiest way to know if the second person is being used is the use of second person pronouns. So we have first person pronouns, second person pronouns. You, yours, your, yourself, yourselves, all of the you pronouns. You can wait here and make yourself at home. I'm talking to you. You can wait right here and rest just like it's your house. You should be proud of yourselves for finishing this enormous project. Speaking to a group, yourselves. Yourself is singular. Yourselves is plural. So we have second person singular, second person plural. Third person point of view belongs to the person or people being talked about. Okay, so first person, I'm talking about myself. I'm talking to myself. Second person, I'm talking about you or I'm talking to you. Third person, I'm talking about others that are not here. The third person pronouns include he, him, his, himself, she, her, hers, herself, it, its, itself, they, them, their, theirs, theirselves. And so it's he, she, it, and they. The singular and plural forms, that's the third person. Tiffany used her prize money for the game to buy herself a new backpack. And so you and I are talking about Tiffany. Tiffany is not here. And so we're using third person grammar to talk about her. The people at the seminar were very excited when they received a free book from the teacher. So you and I are talking, but we're talking about people that are not here, and so we're using the third person point of view. You can't always rely on pronouns to tell you the perspective of a sentence. Not all sentences include pronouns, especially in the third person. Mike always loved school. But if you look at this sentence and think, Mike isn't me, you can eliminate first person. You can also think, I'm not talking to Mike. So that eliminates second person. And so the answer is, it's third person. Okay, because you're talking about Mike. Mike is not here. And so you're talking about someone else. And so that's third person. And so let's look at the, this slide that with the pictures might make it a little easier. First person, I and we, if you're talking about yourself. If you're talking to another person, you. If you're talking about a third person or somebody else, he, she, it, and they. Whew, all right. And so, have you ever been taught about first, second, and third person? Very important when we're speaking, and very important when we're writing. And so, send me a chat and tell me, have you ever been taught about first, second, and third person like this before? If not, I recommend that you watch the video again, pay attention, and take notes. All right, now we're going to go into, we're gonna take a break, then we'll go into lesson four, grammar focus.